so I finally decided to take the plunge and get a Surface 2. So you can see by the silver back, this is indeed the Surface 2 with Windows RT. And uh, I want to basically go through a whole bunch of cool features that I've been playing around with on the Surface 2. So without further ado, let's begin. The first thing I want to talk about is how you can actually use your voice to control the Surface 2. If you open up all your apps, one of them that comes with the Surface 2, you don't even have to download it, is called Windows Speech Recognition. So here we go. Start. Weather. Awesome. It opens up the weather. Now I can look and see what the weather is. And you can actually use this thing to, to search even using Google. So for example, if I say start, search, voice search, how long does it take to drive to Seattle? Awesome. That's amazing. Start. Open Facebook. Close Facebook. Go to the desktop. Open PowerPoint. Switch to Word. Close Word. Don't save. Stop listening. Okay, so those were just some of the few things that I could dictate and basically without using my fingers or the keyboard or anything, I can navigate around the Surface. Okay, so in my old Surface RT video, I showed how you can connect to the monitor and I showed a few things. This time I'm going to do a similar thing but even more extreme. So I'm still going to plug in my monitor via HDMI, um, but instead of just plugging in the uh, mouse and keyboard, the wireless mouse and keyboard like I did before, I'm actually going to use this USB hub and basically plug a whole bunch of things in it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is plug in my Logitech wireless receiver and doing that will basically enable me to run my wireless uh, keyboard as well as my mouse. Okay, so this is a split screen when plugging in an external monitor between the Surface 2 and uh, regular computer monitor. Okay, now what else can I plug in? I can actually also at the same time plug in an external uh, hard drive. So let's plug that in. Great! Everything shows up. All the content on my hard drive shows up. Plug in my Xbox 360 controller adapter. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and play a video from my external drive. Okay, while I'm watching a Surface, a, a, while I'm watching a video on my Surface 2, I can actually go ahead and be productive. Okay, so here's uh, Microsoft Word. You know, I can, I can uh, uh, type a whole bunch of stuff on here, responds fully to the keyboard and mouse. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, print off a document. So I actually have a just a standard wireless printer on here. I just hit print. This is just just showing how powerful this device is. Okay, not only can you watch HD videos at the same time and play movies off of an external hard drive, you can actually still work. And look at that. This just printed from my Surface RT through a wire. I didn't even plug this thing in. This is just a wireless standard printer that it recognizes. That, that's pretty cool right there. Just to show you the power of the device, not that I would actually ever do this, you can actually uh, play games as well. And I'm going to go ahead and open up Halo. Alright. So this game is fully functional while, run, while running a video. Okay, that that's pretty crazy to me that this Surface 2 can manage both in a high definition video as well as a game and a wireless controller and an external hard drive and a keyboard and mouse I mean you know I can still do stuff with my mouse I can even play with my keyboard and mouse on here and this is not like a this is not like Minesweeper or Solitaire this is a legit game 
right here. This is mind blowing. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. Okay, so what's really cool when playing games on the, the Surface 2 is that you can actually plug it into the HDMI on your TV and have the Xbox 360 controller and use it as a basically a super small gaming console that can play really powerful games. So here's my TV. It's, it's hooked up to my Surface using the HDMI. This, this is, uh, this is legit. You know, this is not some cheesy game. You know, this is real, like, eye-popping graphics right now. Hooked up to my uh, HD TV. You know, very little lag. It's very responsive. Look at this. Woo! This is nuts! This is crazy. So, it's great to hook up your Surface 2 to the TV when playing games and stuff. But, if you wanted to uh, put media onto your TV, music or videos, you don't even actually have to use the HDMI. You can actually wirelessly, if you have an Xbox or a smart TV or a PlayStation, I've only tested it on my Xbox, you can actually just cast whatever you're watching or listening to on your Surface. So for example, here is my Google Music app. Okay, it's playing on my Surface right now. If I swipe to the side, hit devices and hit play, and then hit uh, Xbox 360 shows up in my list. So I just hit that and instantly the Xbox responds. And you will see that the music will start on the Xbox. There it goes. There it goes. That is really cool. Okay, you can also control it. So I can hit, let's say, pause. And it pauses on the TV. Play. I can seek next song instantly on the TV. What's really cool is that you can also cast on a video, you know, so Amazon Instant Video or YouTube or Netflix or Hulu, you can you can cast all that to the TV. What's really cool, this app is called Hyper for YouTube. Uh, uh, what's nice about this is I can actually select multiple items. I can select basically an hour's worth of video, okay, and I can uh, have them all queued up. Okay, let's go ahead and cast this to the TV really quick. All right, so it's uh, so I just casted it to the TV, and basically I can just set my Surface down on the sofa, and it will play through all of my playlists that I selected on my Surface. So, so I've got two little kids. So what's actually awesome to do is to go onto Sesame Street's YouTube channel, line up like an hour's worth of Elmo or an hour's worth of Grover. And you can just, you know, play it on the TV for them to watch, and it's effortless. Okay, so speaking of kids, sometimes I'll be, you know, surfing the web or working or something, and my son will come up and want to watch Elmo or watch Sesame Street or, or watch something. Well, what's nice about the Surface is that I can actually let him still watch his stuff while at the same time still be doing my stuff. Okay, so now he's perfect. He's sitting beside me, perfectly entertained by what's on the surface, and at the same time, I can still be happily browsing my stuff on the web. And he doesn't really care how big or small his screen is. Of course, I can adjust this to make his side bigger, but this makes it really nice as a parenting tool to be able to still do your stuff while the kid is just sitting next to you, being fully entertained. Another thing that's nice with the Surface, if you have multiple users, or and especially if you have kids that like to play around with your technology, is you can have multiple accounts. So I actually have a kid mode, a kid account set up on this. Just a, a really fun password with Elmo. And this is, this is their own start screen. I can restrict what websites they can look at, if any. Basically, they can do anything they want in this screen. Anything they want, they can click on and it will not ruin anything because this is their dedicated kid account that is absolutely fair game and they have so much fun coloring and playing with cartoons and doing all that stuff on here okay so last time I showed how you could play Spotify music using the Spotify web player and how the web browser basically makes it so that you can run so many programs and I briefly mentioned the iCloud website last time, but I want to kind of show it a little bit more, 
how, um, you know, you can actually do a lot of stuff. And the Surface 2 makes it so much quicker. You know, so, so doing iCloud notes is super quick. Um, looking at it, you know, if you have an iCloud calendar, it's all there. And not only that, but if you like to work in the iWork suite, the pages, numbers, and all that, guess what? All that actually works on the Surface. So the Surface can, has free Microsoft Office and it has free um, i, you know, the Apple um, iWork suite. Okay, so that's basically what I wanted to show. There are many more features that I could definitely have covered, but those are some of my favorite features that really uh, make me like this uh, the Surface 2. It's much more powerful than the Surface RT. Again, the body build is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I absolutely love it. Be sure to like this video, and if you found this video helpful, uh, please share it and spread the word. Thank you so much for watching.